Aloha and welcome to the Hawaii Information Portal known as HIP. This is your gateway to the new payroll system featuring online employee self-service. The members of our team will now show you how to use the system. Our goal is to provide you with excellent customer service every step of the way. Using our computer on the state network, log on to HIP, like your hip, hip.hawaii.gov. Even a governor does it. You know you've done it correctly if you see the Hawaii Information Portal logon screen. You should have received a letter containing your HIP user ID and temporary password. If you're unable to locate your letter, please call the HIP Service Center for assistance at 808-201-SERV or 808-201-7378 or you can email us at hip at hawaii.gov. The safety of your information is very important. Do not share your login information with anyone else. Use the temporary password provided in the Hawaii Information Portal, user ID, and password letter you recently received. You'll be prompted to change your password when you first log in. Every password you create must be at least 10 characters long. It must include one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and a special character such as exclamation point, add symbol, or a dollar sign. For your security, your password is valid for a 90-day period. Congratulations, you made it to the employee self-service menu. From here, you'll be able to input and manage your direct deposit information. To get started, click on the direct deposit tile. Create your first direct deposit by clicking on add account to input your bank or credit union information. You can now have multiple direct deposits at banks and credit unions in Hawaii and on the mainland. In the old system, we call these bank assignments and credit union deductions. Please don't just search the internet for your bank's or credit union's routing number. Contact them directly or view their website to find their routing number. If you have a checkbook, look at the bottom of your checks. There is a row of numbers. Starting from the left, the first nine numbers will be your bank's routing number. The second series of numbers will be your account number. The third series is your check number, which is not needed for direct deposit. When inputting the routing and account numbers, be sure to include all the zeros. Click in the routing number field to add your nine-digit bank or credit union routing number. Many routing numbers have been preloaded to the system, but not for all financial institutions across the country. If you receive an error message that the routing number is invalid, first ensure that it was typed correctly. If typed correctly and you still receive an error message, please contact the HIP Service Center to have it added as a valid routing number. Next, click in the account number field and enter your account number. Then retype your account number for verification purposes. Next, click on the account type field and use the drop down list to select whether it is a checking or savings account. Then, Please click on the deposit type field. Here you will have three different categories to choose from, amount, balance of net, or percent. Here's what each of these categories mean. Amount means you choose a specific dollar amount to be deposited into this account each pay period. Balance of net means your entire net pay or your remaining net pay will be deposited in full into this account. Percent means you choose a certain percentage of your net pay to be deposited into this account each pay period. If you create an amount or percent direct deposit, you must add another balance of net direct deposit account for your remaining net pay. So now you're going to need to think about how the money is taken from your paycheck. You might have one, two, three, or as many as you have, you're going to need to define those as orders from your direct deposit. As an example, 5% goes into a holiday savings account first. Indicate this deposit order as deposit order number one. Next, say you would like to put $100 per pay period into another account. Indicate that as deposit order number two. Lastly, don't forget to create a direct deposit account for your remaining pay. Add a direct deposit account and select balance of net pay. This will default automatically to deposit order 999. Click on the submit button to complete each directed deposit transaction. If you made a mistake, you can still make changes. However, if you log out of the system, you will not be able to make changes until the next day. 
After you have entered all your directed deposit, then it's time to log out of the system. To do that, click on the action list button in the top right hand corner of the screen and select the sign out link. Thank you for letting us introduce to you the Hawaii Information Portal at hip.hawaii.gov. We hope you find this employee self-service video simple and easy to follow. Please visit our website for more information or contact the HIP Service Center at the email address or phone number provided. Mahalo!